to SciTech Tech. In this video, I want to show you how to make a relaxing fairy light globe out of an old light bulb. Let's get started. You're going to need these simple parts here. An old burnt out light bulb, a bottle cap, a USB cable, Christmas lights that use nano LEDs that are battery powered, and a 10 ohm resistor. So I have this bottle cap here, and I've already cut off the top where there's the little brim and the bottle part has been shaved down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of this electrical tape just to make things look a little bit smoother and cleaner looking just by simply wrapping it around. And now I'm going to go ahead and make a hole in the center. And that's where I'm going to go and slip the USB cable through. Now I'm going to go and remove the insulation. And to cut off all the wires except for the red and black, because red is positive, black is negative. And I'm going to remove the insulation of those two wires. And then twist the wires. Now I'm going to go and cut the wire from these Christmas lights. Now this battery pack can be useful for something else. I'm going to cut a groove on the side of the cap. All right, now I'm gonna go and cut a square hole for me to be able to put the switch in it. There we go, the hole looks just about big enough. And there, now it's big enough for me to fit this switch. There we go. Now I've checked these wires and now with the tape on it, the black tape on it means it's a negative wire. So I'm going to slip the negative wire through one part of that hole for the switch. Now I'm going to go ahead and solder that negative wire to the switch. And solder an extra wire on the switch. Snip off the excess, and now I have my 10 ohm resistor. Shorten the leads, and I'm going to go ahead and solder those onto the positive wire. Put a shrink tube on it so that way it keeps everything insulated. Go ahead and melt the shrink tube. Now I'm going to solder the positive wire and put a shrink tube on it as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue my switch into place. Now, as you can see, the reason for that groove on the side is so that way I can fit my wires underneath it. Now I'm going to solder the negative wire to the negative wire that's on the switch. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my LEDs and slip it through that hole and go all the way until the bottom of the copper colored wire meets at the edge of that hole. There we 
we go and hide the gray wire underneath and there we go right where the groove is where the wire just fits perfectly in that groove I'm gonna go and glue it in so it stays in place now I'm gonna glue that hole so that way the wire doesn't slip back through Now I'm going to go and put glue on everything inside to keep everything into place so that it doesn't move and keeps everything insulated as well. I have this iron disc that I'm going to glue into place on this base here. and glue everything so everything is sealed tight. There, now I'm going to use some electrical tape to cover that part because it doesn't look very clean or tidy. So I'm going to use the electrical tape to make things look a little cleaner and nicer. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the filament inside this light bulb. Now please, you should wear gloves when you do this because if you don't, you're at risk of potentially injuring yourself from the sharp shards of glass or even on the ceramic piece that I'm trying to break. It's very risky and very dangerous. I should have been wearing gloves when I did this. Now you go ahead and take your screwdriver pop it through to break out the filament and then you have like a little bit of glass inside so you go and you bend the screwdriver back and forth to break that little glass tube that's inside and make the opening in the inside bigger so that way you can be able to pull out the filament just like that there we go got the filament out and now you have small broken pieces of glass and you just simply shake it out now you go ahead and take the light bulb and rinse it out with water wipe it clean and it comes out nice and clean. Now you take your LED strands and push it through inside of the bottle. Kind of do like a twisting method so that way you can be able to arrange it into somewhat of a ball inside so that the lights are a little bit more even and it looks a little nicer also helps by pulling it back out and then push it back in. Sometimes we'll change the form a little bit inside. All that's personal preference, of course. And there we go. I have it all in there, shake it a little bit. And now I'm going to go ahead and glue the light bulb into place. Make sure it's level. And there we go. Now glue in the light bulb. And then you will be almost done. Let's glue all the way around to make it solid. And there you have it. It's all glued into place and now the project is done. Now you have your useful switch to be able to turn it on and off. And why I have it as USB is so I can plug it into my computer and have it already plugged in and I can just turn it on and off. So let's go ahead and test it out plugging it into my computer and now I'm going to go over and switch it on and there you have it your very own fairy light globe made from a light bulb see how beautiful that is it's very relaxing and very nice thank you for watching SciTi Tech I hope you learned something new and don't forget to like and subscribe for more SciTi Tech videos till the next tech goodbye